team, welcome back to a new video. So today I've teamed up with old mate, you can see him right behind me, old JT, and uh, we've come up to a high country uh, pond, or dam, whatever you want to call it. So we've got the soft baiting set ups today, today I am running, holy heck. So yeah, my camera just fell off, but anyway. Today I am running my Abu Garcia 1-3kg uh, Virtuous rod and I have my Abu Garcia Revo ALX 3000 size reel. So I'm going to get set up, fish some soft baits. Uh, quick shout out to this company here. As you can tell, I'm wearing some uh, pretty hefty hardy socks here. I've been wanting to shout these guys out for quite some time now. And these are called Wild. So these are Possum Merino socks and they are so comfy. I just sent them a wee while back and I've been meaning to shout these guys out but I've been really sick. So yeah, shout out to these guys. So good. So yeah, I'm going to get uh, my wading boots on, wading socks, all sorts. Get set up and we're going to boost it down to the dam and hopefully get into some big brown trout. So yeah, stay tuned. Yo. So the adventure begins, team. Bit of a walk down to the lake, dam, pond, whatever you want to call it. But it's that way. So probably five minute walk, I reckon, 10 minutes. But the fishing is normally pretty good, so. We were here last time, got on some really good fish, so I'm gonna make a wee edit now. You can watch that while we walk down to the water. Enjoy it. Made it. Made it to the lake. It's the last time there was fish in here. Just see if we can see anything. Maybe chuck a wee cast and yeah, get a bit closer. I've also only got a 120th jig kit on, so I'm trying to go more for a stealthy approach this time around. And get around on the other side. A bit better casting. Um, also got a bit of a backwind as well, so, which is pretty handy, makes our casting distance go just that little bit further. This side, Jesse got quite a few fish last time as well, slayed it on the old soft baits. Also got broken off by one over here as well. Oh, oh he snapped me off! Looked like quite a decent fish, Just getting my redemption on a big one. Oh, right there. Alright, we're trying to get over here, team. It's fucking already at waist depth. And it gets deeper. I think I got a dry bag. <laughs> yep, yep, right there. Nice, nice, not a, not a big fish, but a fish, get out of this deep shit, nice, just tapped it right in front of me, oh there's another big one with it, there was a real big one with it, yeah there was a real big one with it, I don't know where he went, but 
that one that was with it was way bigger. Not a big, not a big fish, but we're on the board. Had a feeling getting around those trees was the best idea. <clears throat> High country browns, eh? Gotta love them. He's hooked right on the top of the top of the um, mouth. Oh, man, good. Put up a good fight. Put up a good fight. This doesn't want to come in. Dogging me. Yes, got in. It's a nice fish to start off with. Yeah, two and a half. Not the biggest, but the fish at that. Well, team, that's quite a nice wee fish, this. A bit better than what I thought. Um, yeah, look at that. Pretty cool. Took the old soft bait. I got a quick wee photo for Berkeley. The hook's out. One more look at him. Yeah. Off he goes. <laughs> Most graceful release, but hey, we're on the board. Oh, hey. Cool looking fish. I think it's two and a half, three pound. Didn't weigh him, but hey, got the job done. That's what he took there. It's a um, bronze pearl. It's mumped at the soft bait, but we'll thread it back on. We'll get, a, get another one on it, I reckon. Bloody good. On the board. Stoked to get that fish, get that fish early in the piece. Fish for about 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Finally got one. And uh, Jesse's over there and he just says he's caught a, caught a big crayfish. So, we'll go have a look at it. Oh yeah, he's a pretty big one bro. No way. He's a big fella. Nothing. Oh hey, he's a big one. Is it a male or a female? Not a male. He's a big fella. Yeah, look at the size of that. He's a big boy. That would be good eating. If we, if we if we had a yabby pot. Look at that. Big boy. Should we put him home? Yeah, Just him. That's a big crayfish though. Look at that. That's, yeah. It's the size of my hand. Big crayfish. Ready? Sinks to the bottom. Typical. It was kicking right beside me. I thought it was a trout. Should we walk around? Yeah, bro. Hard out. Oh, oh, huge fish. Huge fish. Huge fish. Huge fish. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, eat it, eat it, please eat it. Oh, dude. He was like seven pound. At my feet. Huge fish. He was eating shit off the bottom. Hey. He, there was a massive fish at my feet eating stuff off the bottom. This looks like the money spot around here, surely. I don't know how I'll land a fish with a hook one, but we'll figure that out. Yep, yep. That's a bit of fish. Jizzy! There we go. Definitely a better fish. Yeah, much better fish. That's actually of decent size. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. Look at that. I think you can't hear me. And I don't really know how the hell I'm going to eat this fish either. <clears throat> oh, I might be able to get him here. Oh, much better fish. That's what I've been after. Fat. Super fat. Yes, got him. That's a good fish. That was a good fish. That is much better. Finally. Oh yeah. 
it might be four. On the hooks out. Hook is out. Smash the black and gold. That is mean. I don't know where Jesse is, but. Three and a half. It's not massive, but. Hey. Finally, this ourselves a semi decent fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look how fat that is. That is a chunky fish. That is incredible condition. Holy hecka. Beautiful fish. Right, I'll send them home. See you, buddy. Yeah. Mean. That is what we were sort of after. But bigger though. We'll definitely take a five. But hey. Best fish of the day so far. Phew. Kia ora whanau. welcome. Today I'm going to quickly show off the Kia kit that I've been presented by with Matt Butler. Matt Butler's a, a lad out of Wanaka who started his own survival kit, so take and have a quick look at this and I'll show you what it's all about. Be prepared for all your adventures with a survival kit that includes everything you need and nothing you don't. Modular, compact, durable and water resistant. Organised into five pillars of outdoor survival. Includes over 30 plus items of quality gear designed and built by the outdoor experts. What's inside the Kia kit? There's a medical, fire, tools, shelter, water, all inside the Kia kit. Tools, the gear you carry to make or break a trip. The tools include just the essential to ensure that you're ready to respond at a moment of notice. Shelter, one of the biggest risks when venturing outdoors is exposure of the elements. The shelter pack is used in an emergency shelter, gear or ground cover, or even as your main tent slash rain or bivy. First aid, the most essential thing to carry on every adventure. The medical case is stocked with all essentials for a multi-day trip that you can clean and cover wounds, bandage breaks, and keep yourself healthy. Be sure to get yourself one of these care kits, because it might just save your life. Man, this is a mission. Get down here though. Get cast around these trees, I reckon we might get another fish, potentially anyway. That was a shit cast, but we'll take it. Just put my feet in a little bit more distance the cast from behind me. Got him. That was definitely the fish that rose. How big is he? Not very big. Fish is a fish though. <laughs> As I said, you can stand here all day and catch fish. I was literally going to move, but seeing that fish rise, how flick, you got him. Not very big. Fat fish though. Completely different size and colour. As you can tell, this one here is a more to sort of looks like sea run trout. Oh, slippery bugger. But he's really fat. Wow. You see the fatness on this fish, you're going to be like, oh my god. Look how fat he is. For a little fish. Look at that guys, look at the fatness on him. Look at that. <laughs> Super fat. Hey buddy. Man. The potential to grow into a big 10 pounder that one. Keeps packing on weight 24 seven then he'll be a serious fish in a few years. So it's been sitting down, chilling out on the hill for a little bit, getting my breath back, having some water. We've seen, a, we've seen watching this really nice fish over here on the other side, taking dry flies. Um, pretty occasionally too, so I'm gonna get over there, fish over there, and try to catch them. Looks like a good fish too, so fingers crossed.
Yep, yep, oh good one. That's it, that's the fish. There he is. There he is. It's not massive, but... Two, two and a half. There we go. Mission nearly accomplished, we can need him. I don't know if that's the one rising, but... Yeah. Boom. How good. And the hook's out. Now, well, take a wee photo of the soft bait. Send them home. We've, we've got them. Well, we've got one of them anyway. Really good condition fish, though. How good. Well, here we go, guys. This is the fish. Not the biggest one, but the well earned one. Look at that. Cool looking fish. Great condition. Look at that. It's not bad. Ready, buddy. See ya. You. <laughs> Righto, team. Well, that's me and Jesse done for the day. We are. Uh, we caught a few fish. I think I caught four or five. Jesse got two, I think. But uh, no. Cars up that way. So what we're we gonna do? Get around, get up those trees and head up the hill, get to the car. So yeah, wasn't a bad wee session. <laughs>